There is a term known as black swan, which is being used in a risk management uh, assessment. Um, we will be discussing that in our today's video. Black swan is a, is a term which is being coined by uh, Talib. If I'm not wrong, or if I'm not uh, wrong in pronunciation, pronouncing his name, it's basically a, a concept in which um, we are we try to be more mindful about the events which might have a low probability but could lead to high impact towards um, to, towards the detriment or or cause threat to the achievement of the organization objectives. Um, there are two more terms to it, gray uh, swan events and white swan events. Basically, there are less of uh, famous terms which are used in the risk management because those and the characteristics of those events are being uh, taken care of in the risk assessment. However, black swan is one of the terms which are being more predominantly being used in the risk management. So what is a black swan event? Whenever we carry out our risk management, we try to think of a risk which potentially can harm the company, which could lead or prevent the company from achieving its objective, right? So what happened basically, there are certain events which a risk practitioner, despite their professional experience and despite uh, their study and research, they are unable to identify because of the low impact. Uh, this event could be a global event or it could be localized to a country or a sector or industry. Uh, I've seen these uh, events in the past, for example, the recent pandemic was one of the, one of the black swan event which uh, has a low probability, but has a huge impact on the global trade and mobility and, uh, and the companies to function properly. Um, before the 9-11 was a black swan event, uh, the financial crisis was a black swan event. At times, even in a, in a country where and the political chaos is there, so that could lead to any any destruction. Or, for instance, if you are in a in a crypto business and the government put a, a legislation to ban certain coin or the technology in itself, so that could lead to a black swan event. So, since despite despite the fact that um, that we are unable to to calculate the impact. We try to be more resilient within the organization and as a risk practitioner, what we do is basically we, we, we try to figure out if any such kind of event happen, does the organization is more resilient enough that it can take or absorb that shock. How that happened, that happened uh, based on a role, uh, um, a stringent and a mature risk governance framework within the company. Uh, the, similar to that, that in the company keep a reserve in order for any event that could harm and they can have a liquid, they, they can use that reserve to use or for the expansion purpose. So similarly, the organization try to, to try to guess if such kind of event happened, be it a natural disaster or a man-made uh, issues, the organization is resilient enough to tackle those issues. So in that case, what generally happens that the organization, organization which are more resilient in terms and more strong in terms of their internal control processes, they have a good uh, cash flow management, they have good personnel, loyal personnel, so the organization overcome those challenges. Uh, one of the examples I would share from my practical experience that I was working for a company which had a regional office um, and the regional headquarter is encountered a fire hazard and the entire building got fire and as a result uh, nothing left on ground everything was at ashes um, 
the company does not have at that time a business continuity or disaster recovery plan, but they had in inherently certain controls or control framework which allow the company to get operational within three days. The company has uh, factories in that um, country, so they really get their employees to one of the factory premises where they had the offices. Secondly, they had um, uh, loyal employees and majority of the employees were having three to six or even more than that years of experience. So they, they had the knowledge within their mind. So they were able to function properly because they were loyal and they were not panic enough because they, they were doing those things over the years. Uh, the third thing was they had a very strong relationship with their suppliers and their customers. So in that case, all the invoices and the certain payments and all were being a copy of being is being um, requested from them and with collaborated with them. But that's that's not a planned approach. Um, generally, we try to have a business recovery and disaster recovery, uh, business continuity and disaster recovery plan in order to uh, make the organization more resilient. So such type of event is uh, considered to be a black swan. Whenever you are doing a risk assessment, you, if you can come up with any black swan event, that's very good. But since the impact at that point of time is very um, less so what you are supposed to do as a risk package you have to ensure that the organization have a very good good risk framework and the organization is um, more uh, resilient to face some these kind of challenges with the internal capacities so that's what you have to ensure um, as there is a saying um, that uh, a good risk culture within an organization is where the bad news moves faster than the good news. So that is one thing which you have to take into account. Uh, so there is an analogy and there is a saying that uh, a good risk culture in the organization is where the bad news move faster than the good news. So people does not afraid to speak of their mind and everyone embrace the change. So that kind of organization are more resilient to such kind of black swan events. Uh, there is another term which is used a white swan event. White swan is basically that event which you can predict um, and the likelihood and the impact of that event. So we generally we can work in our risk assessment and gray are the one which falls in between the black and the white uh, swan events. So this is a brief description and explanation of what is the black swan event and how you can make the organization more resilient in order to fight back against any adverse um, impact. Uh, I will see you in the next video with some more interesting uh, topics on risk management in general audit for now and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.